Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> so when you saw that play on the film system, what, what, what was the reaction? In the room? Um, I mean, obviously everyone was hyped. I mean, I was hyped about it, but uh, you know, just watching the film, uh, we had a lot of stuff that we left out on the field and uh, could have got a lot better. What sticks with you, you know, <clears throat> of those left on the field plays? Um, I mean, just obviously the loss is tough, but uh, you know, at the end of the game, you know, when plays need to be made, uh, you know, I feel like I needed to step up and feel like I didn't. What could you have done? I mean, especially on that last drive, he, he targeted you, I think, almost every every snap. So, um, what do you think you could have done better? Um, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, as collectively as a group, uh, you know, everything could have got better. Obviously, I, you know, should have got the ball, but, uh, you know, we just got to move on. I know you guys are going to be without Robert. Who are some of the guys you're expecting to, to step up and help fill that void? Um, I mean, I feel like just as a group, we're all going to have to step up, you know, uh, every part of our offense from, you know, the line, the running backs, tight ends, everyone's going to have to step up to fill the void uh, Robert's going to leave. What do you see from Calvin Ridley when he was in the game as a true freshman making some plays out there? Um, I feel like he's uh, definitely grown since he's gotten here. Uh, you know, definitely matured for his age. Um, just, you know, he's obviously really fast, makes plays for us. Uh, I'm excited for him. What did Jake do to kind of maybe open some eyes, not just, you know, from fans, but maybe even in, in his own building? Um, just him escaping the pocket, you know, making plays on his feet. I know, I'm not sure really anyone really expected that. Uh, <laughs> But it was good to see him and you know his leadership throughout the game. So a couple of scrambles actually surprised you. I mean, I I, I know he can move, but I'm not sure everyone else knew he can move like that. <laughs> okay. You've played in some big venues before. What did you think of the atmosphere Saturday night? It was awesome. Just uh, being out there with my teammates and you know the fans uh, from both sides. Uh, it was it was a really cool experience. Dude, when you see, you see the replay of, of their the run pass option play where they hit the long 70 something yard touchdown. What, just offensively, from offensive mind, what do you think of, of that play and just the scheme of that play? Uh, you know, I haven't really looked into it or really saw it, but uh, <clears throat> I don't know. It is what it is, to be honest. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know how much you know about his story, but is Cam Sims, you know, what you see in him in practice, is he much further along than maybe when he first rejoined the team? Um, I mean, obviously, obviously he's getting you know more healthy out there. Uh, like you said, I'm not I'm not sure about his story, but I know he got hurt. But uh, it's been fun to get to know him and see his uh, progress through his injury. Nick mentioned uh, he's kind of wanting to see a little bit more from our Darius. What more can our Darius kind of? Do you think he has more to bring, more to show that maybe he hasn't had yet? Um, I just know Darius is a playmaker, and uh, you know. I know that you know when we need him, he's going to be there for us. So I'm confident in him. The tip ball that did Ole Miss had for a touchdown. Have you ever been on the other side of one of those as a receiver, where you saw one getting? <laughs> no, I haven't. To be honest, that's that was a crazy play. I mean, he was there at the right time. You just do you guys work on a tip drill or something in case there's ever a situation <laughs> like that? Is there any way to prepare for something that you know one of the thousand? I don't think so. I feel like it's just right place at the right time. How would you describe Jake's kind of the, the connection with um, the rest of the receivers? Obviously, it seems like he has, like with Robert, he had a good relationship early. Obviously, Robert's hurt. With you, you kind of emerged this last game. But how would you characterize his relationship with the rest of the group? Um, you know, I feel like whoever we have in there at quarterback uh, is definitely, you know, we have chemistry with both of them. Uh, you know, we throw with them every single day. Uh, I feel like the biggest thing is just making them feel comfortable. Um, so then just throughout the game, you know, they get in a groove and, you know, our whole offense just gets in a groove. Would it be easier to develop consistency if just one guy was out there taking most of the practice reps and even playing most of the time in the game? Um, no, like I said, I mean, we're, we're confident in whoever's out there for us. <clears throat> Anything else? Is that just an in-season beer or you grow that all the time? <laughs> uh, in-season. Appreciate it. Thanks, Richard. Thank, Thank you. you.